So again, we went to some more home goods stores and I found a few more fun things. So in this video, I'll show you what I found and also um, a few things that I found online, including this adorable little Halloween tree. So let's get started. So because this is already in the camera frame, I figured I would start with this first. So this is a Vickerman brand Halloween tree. Um, it came pre-lit, so it has all these adorable little orange lights on it. Um, it's incandescent, at least this tree is. Um, I noticed there were other versions of these black Halloween pine trees. I guess I um, didn't look at all of them. I fell in love with this one because it has kind of a little bit more staggered shape to it, so it's not quite as absolutely perfectly shaped um, pine tree. So I thought it'd be great, you know, it leaves more room for ornaments to hang and um, has a little bit more of kind of a natural look to it. So I really did like that. The needles on this tree are definitely not realistic. Um, so they're not the, you know, kind of plastic shaped like real pine needles. They're um, the classic artificial usual tree needles. But with it being a black um, Halloween tree, I think it works and um, it doesn't make me like it less. So I, I, I think it's an adorable tree. And then the needles have kind of this shiny texture to them, um, which I guess I wasn't completely expecting, but I ended up liking. So, um, so yeah, it kind of gives it more of a sparkly look, which is kind of neat. So it kind of reflects the orange lights, or as you can see, I kind of have some spooky blue lighting going on down here, um, just to give it a little bit more of a eerie mood. So, um, so yeah, the shininess of the needles kind of works with, um, with that. So this tree that I picked out, they had all different sizes, but um, I liked this size because this is a four and a half foot tree. I do have it propped up on a stand so that you could see it more than just the tree top in the video. But the reason I chose this size tree is um, they had a three foot and three foot would have been cute, but it was a little bit small for where I wanted to um, have a Halloween tree. And I didn't really want to have a full size Halloween tree because I, a lot of times will decorate differently each year and a full size tree, if I'd had to decorate it differently every year, would take so much more um, ornaments and embellishments. So I figured four and a half was a good size. So my plan is for this to go on the table, kind of in front of our picture window in our fireplace room. Those of you who've watched um, some of my Halloween and Christmas home tour videos probably know where I'm talking about. So, um, so yeah, adorable tree, um, lots and lots of lights on it. So it wasn't sparsely lit. That was one where I, I had, or, um, sometimes they're lit kind of not evenly. And I, I feel like they did a pretty good job on this one. Also to mention, so, um, this is the type where I believe it was two sections that you set together and then you have to plug the plugs together. So that's kind of the style that this one is. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit of an older style of how um, a pre-lit artificial tree would go together, but still it works and it's adorable. Um, and the plug has a push button. Um, so like a floor push button, so you can kind of step on the button to turn the lights on and off, which is kind of nice. But anyway, yes, that is the Vickerman brand, um, four and a half foot pre-lit with orange lights because they had other pre-lit options like clear, but I wanted the orange. I think I pretty much always use orange lights on my Halloween trees. So, um, so yeah, adorable, adorable tree. And I believe it was around $150 for this tree. It's definitely probably not a super, super bargain price, but it's, I think, a you know good um, price for the tree, and it is something that I will use 
you know, year after year to do my Halloween trees. So to me, it was definitely worth it for all the use that I plan on getting out of it. So yes. <laughs> And then quickly, I will have a link in the video description to this um, Halloween tree. So I'll have a link to the specific size and lights that I have here. Um, but definitely you can browse and look at the other um, trees that they have because they had, you know, different heights, different shapes and um, not pre-lit or pre-lit with other um, lighting colors. So. <laughs> When I knew I had a Halloween tree on its way in the mail, I kind of got excited and was thinking, you know, what do I want to put on this Halloween tree? So I was at Michael's and I came across this really cute Halloween ribbon. Now, I'm not exactly sure if I will be using this on the tree because I found something else later, but this ribbon is definitely something that I want to try fitting into my Halloween decor this year somewhere in the house if it doesn't end up going on this tree. But as you can see, it has kind of this orange and yellow linen-y textured background, which is just rustic and really, really, really cute. Um, it has bats and stars and moons as well. So. To me, this looks very classic and almost slightly vintage Halloween. So that is what made me really, really like it. Um, and it does have some glitter on the bats in the design. So that kind of just adds an extra level of detail. But it was $10 for 20 feet. This is a wired ribbon, so it has wire in it so you can shape it. And um, it's two and a half inches wide so that's kind of a few of the details on it but yes it was ten dollars which is um not awful but it's definitely not a bargain price on the ribbon i didn't wait till it went on sale i i don't know i feel like a lot of their halloween and seasonal stuff will eventually go on sale for like 40 percent off but i figured i just wanted to have it so i had it in case i wanted to use it to decorate this tree you know, sometime whenever I end up doing that. So anyway, I just paid full price, but I got one roll. I will say, if you're planning on covering one of these trees with um, ribbon, I'm not exactly sure that one roll of 20 feet would be enough. Um, the look might be a little on the sparse side, but there's a lot of things you can do to fill in if you decide you just want to get one roll. You can um, add floral stems and floral picks to kind of fill in. Um, you can cut the ribbon into smaller pieces and just tuck those pieces in kind of here and there. And that will give the illusion that there's more ribbon on the tree and kind of spread it out um, instead of, you know, having losing all the ribbon that's weaving from one loop to the next that's in the tree. So I don't know if that made any sense, but, um, but yes, very, very, very cute ribbon. So then at Home Goods, I found these Shiny Bright brand Halloween ornaments. So I have quite a few Shiny Bright ornaments for Christmas, but I didn't have any for Halloween. So when I saw these, I just thought I had to get them. And the one thing I really liked about these in particular were these are classic Halloween colors. So I've seen some of the shiny bright Halloween ornaments have um, greens and purples and different things like that in their design, which is cool. Um, but I just thought that the classic or closer to classic Halloween colors of just orange and black would um, match more of my Halloween decor because I have a lot of uh, orange and black Halloween decor, which to me is like the classic Halloween color. So anyway, that is one thing I really liked about these. So as you can see, these are kind of smaller ornaments. Um, and color wise, like I said, they're pretty much orange and black, but they do have some kind of yellowy gold and white and silver in their design as well. But those I feel like are fairly neutral and very close to the colors of the orange and black that are already there. So um, I don't think it distracts from the classic orange and black coloring. But these were $10 for each box. 
and um, for shiny bright ornaments, that definitely is not a bad price. Um, I'd say normally a box of ornaments like this, if you bought it regular price at like a gift shop or um, some place that carries these that isn't kind of a discount place like Home Goods, they would probably be about 20, possibly 25 for one of these boxes. So um, definitely is a deal at Home Goods. So yes, these were um, the first two boxes of shiny brights that I found. So after that, I was kind of on a shiny bright Halloween ornament hunt and we went to lots and lots of different home goods and I will say, I was having a hard time finding any at other stores. Uh, we went to, one day we went to three home goods, um, another day we just went to one, and then yesterday we went to three more home goods that were different because um, we have quite a few home goods around us, which is really fun. So um, yeah, I'd say they're probably about 10, 15 minutes from one to the next. So you just kind of, you know, hop to each store. But anyway, through all those stores, I did find some more shiny bright ornaments, thankfully. So um, these were something that I came across. So they are glass beaded garlands with cute little pumpkins every once in a while. And as you can see, they're in the same um, color scheme as the other ornaments that I um, showed previously. And I see I'm holding the box upside down. But anyway, um, yes, very, very cute glitter accents on the pumpkins. Um, I do not know how long these garlands are. Yeah, I had looked all around on the box and I could not find how long the garland is, but I'm gonna guess six feet. So um, I, I know Shiny Bright makes a lot longer garlands because I um, I purchased one at Christmas time for my brother and I think that one was a 10 foot garland or something around there. But anyway, so these are six foot garlands, which is pretty standard for a, like a Christmas tree garland, but is definitely not enough for one of these trees because once you add in the swags, um, it really uses up a six foot garland pretty fast, especially around the bottom, which is probably a, approximately three foot wide. I had only found one box of these and I'm like, well, I'll get it, but hopefully I find more. And so searched and searched and searched and wasn't finding more. And then I was just thinking, well, if I can't find more, I may use this kind of swagged on the mantle or something. Um, but finally, eventually, I found another box. So now I have two boxes of the pumpkin design. So yes, these I think I probably will obviously use on the Halloween tree, but with a beaded garland, usually, I don't think I've ever used beaded garlands and ribbon on a tree before. So I'm probably gonna have to choose, but we'll see. I may try and see what happens when I decorate this tree um, later this season. So yes, very fun. Uh, these were $15 a box. And my guess is regular price for something like this would probably be around 30, 35. So um, again, that's a pretty good deal for these ornaments. But like I said, they're, they've been pretty sparse as far as finding them at home goods stores, at least in my area but maybe the rest of you will have better luck. Um, I've seen more online that people have been finding and there was one set in particular, I was like, oh my gosh, I really hope I find that uh, because it just was very, very, very cute. Um, and I technically never did, but I did find some other things that I wasn't expecting to like these. So, um, this is another garland, but instead of the pumpkins, it has these super cute little ghosts. So um, I'm gonna mix that in with these other garlands and the coloring of these are similar to the others, but a little bit different. So these ones are orange, silver, black, and kind of a yellow gold. And these are white, black, silver, and orange. So they don't have the yellow gold in this set, but I think that's such a subtle detail that it won't be very noticeable. 
um, once everything's on the tree. So yes, and again, 15 bucks is how much this one was. So very fun to come across that. And so finishing up on the ornaments that I found, look at these. <laughs> so yes, we have the classic striped ornaments that are very much shiny bright style. Um, but we also have these kind of pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern shaped ornaments that are just very, very, very cool. They have kind of a um, white glitter accent on the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And then they also have kind of a glitter accent following the crevice of the pumpkin. So it just enhances the detail of it. As you can see, it comes with four of the pumpkins and five of the striped ornaments, but these are a little bit larger scale than, uh, or actually quite a bit larger scale, I should say, than the first ones that I had shown in this video. Um, but because they're larger scale, I think it makes the price a little bit different. So these ones were $17 um, for the box, but I would guess online, these would probably be uh, between 30 and 40 bucks. So again, it's a pretty good price for, um, for the ornaments. I am planning on adding other ornaments other than just the Shiny Bright brand ornaments to the tree. Like I'm pretty sure these guys will probably go on um, the Halloween tree. And, um, those of you, again, who uh, watched my channel and were here last Halloween season, um, probably remember these. I have a craft video on my channel showing how you can make these cute little pumpkin ornaments that I have. Um, on the mantle right now. So um, they're fairly easy to make and fun and just, you know, again, I like to stick with the classic Halloween look for those. So if you are interested in watching that video, I will have a link to it in the video description. So on the Joanna Parker Halloween side of things, um, I last year purchased this little jack-o'-lantern teapot. I believe I got it off of the Traditions website and um, absolutely love it. think it's very, very adorable and is definitely a piece I'm gonna set out every single year. Um, but I bought this and then I bought a set of the cups that went with it and it only had four. And I thought, you know, that's a nice number, but eight would be better because then if I have like a Halloween gathering or something, it's not like I only have four cups um, to go with it. So I looked online and I ended up finding someone who was selling a set of four of the cups. So that is something recently that I got as well. I only have two here, um, cause that's as much as I can hold at once. But yes, so these are the cups. So that is something new that I got that I purchased online. But as you can see, it matches the teapot and has kind of um, different pumpkin faces. I think they're all slightly different. Maybe two of them were the same if I'm remembering right. But, um, but still very, very cute. Yeah, so just, I love the Joanna Parker Halloween pieces. I think they're vintage looking and very classic and will be something that's timeless that I can just enjoy year after year after year. Um, I think I paid, it was either 30 or $40 for the set of four of these online. So, um, so yeah, check eBay, check Etsy, um, check just any of those kind of websites and um, maybe you'll find a better bargain than I did, but Full price, these are, I think, a little bit more than 30, 40 bucks, but I um, remember they did carry them on that Traditions website as well. So I tried to, I've been trying to figure out if I wanted to show this next um, Halloween piece or not, because um, it was a, an online purchase that I purchased um, from a seller and it wasn't from a store. This was just from a person that was um, selling it and it was not what I expected when it came in the mail. Um, but just as a, if you're interested in this piece and you um, aren't aware that this can happen, it's something to watch out for and make sure 
that you're looking very closely at because if it happened once, I'm guessing it could happen multiple times, but I was looking for the Joanna Parker Halloween cake stand because I think it's cute, has a jack-o'-lantern face on the top. Um, this, this is it, so as you can see, cute jack-o'-lantern face, has kind of a, like a dingy glaze around it, and it has an adorable little pumpkin base. So I've wanted it, and I've wanted to get it, and I just haven't, and then I found it kind of inexpensive on a website that somebody was selling it um, on. So I think I it was $15 and then $10 for shipping. So, you know, it was like 25 bucks. Um, I think originally this is like a $40 piece plus, and then there's shipping on top of that on other websites. But anyway, it came in the mail and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's really cute. Cause you know, I just saw the top and um, and all the description said was it was brand new and they'll ship it with care. So it didn't have anything else and they had photos of the entire item. But I will say it was creative photography because when I took it out of the box, I don't know if this shows up in the video, but the, um, the pedestal of this is completely off center underneath. And that is actually how some, how uh, the manufacturer attached it. You can see where it is supposed to go. Um, but uh, whoever was putting this together, unfortunately just had it put on um, very, very off center. And I'm just, I have to laugh inside because uh, for one, unexpected, but for another, to think that a, a brand would, um, and I, I don't think this is the Joanna Parker brand's fault. This is more on the, the manufacturing company that makes the stuff for her brand. But um, <laughs> just to think that somebody would attach that to the plate that far off and then go on to have somebody intricately paint it and finish it like this is, you know, gonna be an, a, a perfect item and then have it, you know, shipped to a a store or wherever this was originally purchased at. It's kind of a funny thought um, to me um, and kind of unfortunate because it is so cute, but it is so unusable because it, you know, is not balanced at all. Um, so I don't know if it shows up in the video. I'm trying, you know, the best that I can to show it, but you can see it, just the stand is so, so, so far off center. So that was unfortunate, but I did end up ordering another one and you know, we'll see if it comes in the mail with the pedestal straight. I was really looking at the pictures on it and it um, they didn't do quite as much creative photography, I'll say, as the person who was selling this. But, um, so I mean, I, I think they really showed how it's gonna look and it looked like the stand was on straight, so Hopefully it will be because that is a piece that I think would be fun to add to my collection. I can see uses for it um, just for displaying items in like a china cabinet, but also just for like a Halloween table setting. It'd be a really fun piece to have for. So anyway, when you are looking at pieces online, specifically this cake stand, um, and it's from, you know, being sold by like a person, you know, on eBay or someplace like that. Just really look at those pictures and make sure that the stand looks like it's straight because, um, yeah, not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with this thing. I'm, uh, I was joking, I, I asked my brother if he wanted to have it because he collects Joanna Parker too and he's like, I'm good. Um, but yeah, it's probably, it's probably gonna be a Goodwill piece. And so, um, so yes, but anyway, that was technically another find and technically I have one on its way in the mail. So hopefully this next one is um, attached properly. <laughs> also, we made it into Bath and Body Works when they were having a sale going on, which was, um, I think it was 325 per wallflower refill. So I ended up getting a bunch of two different kinds. Um, there was one that I was looking for, but it was an online only, unfortunately. 
at least right now, so I'm gonna have to wait to get that, but um, the first one I got was Pumpkin Bonfire. So I remember this scent from last year, and I think I only got one. Really, really liked it. Went, by the time I went back to get more, they didn't have it anymore. And so um, I was really excited that they had this one again because it just, it smells awesome. So anyway, that is um, one of the fragrances that I picked out. But another one is Pumpkin Carving. So this one, it's just a, it's a, another different pumpkin scent. Um, I don't know exactly how to describe it. It's more, less pumpkin pie, more um, like of a fresh pumpkin fragrance, I guess. I, it's really hard to describe, but anyway, if you were ever at a Bath and Body Works store, you should check it out because it, it is a good different um, pumpkin scent. And also on the fragrance side of things, <laughs> Yankee Candle has some great scent plug refills. Um, you have to get their, uh, their plugins to use them, but they're kind of, um, I feel like getting in competition a little bit with Bath and Body Works as far as um, they're coming out with more fragrances with, with these than they had before. and. They're coming out with a lot more of the plugins in different styles. Um, so that's kind of fun. And I will say, I really do like the Yankee Candle plugins. I feel like they scent for a long time and they keep scenting through the whole time. Um, and I don't think I've had a Yankee Candle uh, plugin die on me yet. And I've had them for a few years now. So I got Autumn Wreath, of course. It's a very classic. Um, fragrance, that fall fragrance from Yankee Candle. They've had it for years. I remember back when I worked at a Hallmark store in like, guessing 2009, um, you know, whenever the fall fragrances came in, every time I kind of walked past the candle section, I'd like open a jar and smell the candles. When I was working, you know, I just kind of like quickly, or when I was straightening the candles, but anyway, I'd say it's kind of like an apple berry um, style fragrance. Um, but yeah, so if you're ever at a Yankee Candle store, you know, check out Autumn Wreath. To me, it's such a classic fragrance. Part of it's nostalgia because I remember this from when I worked at Hallmark and it was like one of my first um, Yankee Candles that I ever had. So, um, so yeah, it's a fun one. Uh, but yes, Chris, so, Crisp Campfire Apples is another one that I think smells really good of their fall fragrances. So that's another one to check out. And then this one is a new one, I believe. Uh, Pumpkin Maple Cream Caramel. So this is obviously uh, more of a sweet fragrance, but um, smells really good. I, I think I like it. So um, those are the three newest ones, but you know, their spiced pumpkin scent always has me. That is one of my favorite scents. And it's, I've mentioned before, like a scent that I burn year round because I like it that much. And I get the refills of it and have those going year round. So that's kind of my base fragrance in the house because I just like it so much. But, um, but yeah, Yankee Candle has some really fun um, sense. And it seems like they're getting even more fall scents this year than it seemed like they did last year. So that's very exciting. But for those of you who are curious on what's happening on the mantle behind me, um, so I decided to set out some of my um, past year's Halloween craft projects. Um, not everything is a craft project. I did not make these trees. Those were something um, from Balsam Hill a few years ago. But um, the rest of the stuff is stuff that I've um, made in videos on my channel. So if you are curious on how any of these things were made, um, I'll have links in this video's description um, to the craft videos for them. Like this big pumpkin, fun, fun project. Um, I love it It's because it's very vintage style and it wasn't too hard to make. A little bit messy because of um, you know the materials used to make it, but um, I do think it's a project that many people 
could do and would really have fun. Um, have they, they just really have fun making these? So uh, yes, this is the rustic kind of pumpkin. Um, I'll try to describe them a little bit in the description so you can, um, you know, know which one's which. But yes, yeah, so this one was one I made one year. I made this little owl um, paper mache looking Halloween bucket, and I I do not have real candles in these. I have these little um, flameless LED tea lights, and they're timer, and I absolutely love these. So just quickly, these are something I found on Amazon because I wanted some um, flameless light up candles that could fit in very small decorations because a lot of the timer um, flameless candles are quite large and I wanted them to be timer so that they'd turn on and off by themselves, you know, so, um, so anyway, I found these on Amazon, love them. They do take button cell batteries, but you can find these button cell batteries for fairly inexpensive in large packs on Amazon as well. So it wasn't kind of a um, distraction or, you know, it didn't make me not want them. So yes, they're just kind of have this round flame thing on top. Um, I think they look decently realistic because they're not super, super orange colored flames and just, you know, the way that they're made and have kind of this little black wick, um, I think they're fairly realistic and just, again, they're awesome. So I'll have a link um, to these in the video description as well, but they're what I kind of use in a lot of these decorations that I make, like this owl lantern, which again is a video, um, a craft video you can find in the description of this video. Um, but they're, they're just, they're, they're great. So yeah, that's that. And this one, I already mentioned these little ornaments um, earlier. And then this, these two are actually um, one video. So they're also another paper mache style, uh, vintage style looking Halloween kind of lantern decoration that you can make. And I just made them so you can kind of stack them. So I just used two different you know, size decorations, but yeah, it's the pumpkin and the little moon. So, um, so yeah, lots and lots of fun, um, Halloween finds, lots of fun craft projects. So if you're excited for Halloween, maybe, um, you can get started, you know, working on some of these and have them ready for when you want to start decorating. Um, honestly, I've actually, because of my channel, started slowly decorating the house already. I've been working on the china cabinet, trying to get that um, figured out how I want to decorate it. But um, I'm excited to eventually have the Halloween home tour video ready. Um, it's going to be a, quite a while, but it just takes me... Um, it takes me a while to get the house decorated the way that I want it. And this year I started a little earlier because I just wanted it to be a little more leisurely so that it's not kind of, oh my gosh, I need to get a whole bunch of stuff done really fast and then record everything really fast and then edit everything really fast. Um, so yes, I gave myself a little bit more time this year, which I think later on I'm gonna really appreciate. And then briefly, I was just gonna mention that for those who are interested, my Halloween hardcover books are on my website again. Um, I don't have a huge stockpile of them um, just because it's really hard to have a lot of the books at once. Um, if they end up being out on my website by the time you are maybe thinking about purchasing them, um, these two books are available on Amazon. And if you go to the homepage of my website, which I'll have in the description of this video as well, um, on the homepage, I have links to each of these books on Amazon, but they will not be signed, unfortunately, because, you know, um, they print from directly from Amazon and are shipped directly to, um, to you if you order them. And so I don't have a chance to sign them because it doesn't come to me first. But all the books on my website that I'm selling from directly from my website will be signed. So, um... So yes, we, we have copies of Thomas, which is the romantic ghost story. And this is the Halloween edition of the book. So it has a kind of cute Halloween style cover and um, some Halloween additions added in, kind of sprinkled into the storyline. 
And the other book I have is Beatrix Percival, again, which is a story about a young woman who discovers she's a witch. And this is the Halloween edition of that, of course, so it has the Halloween cover and um, some Halloween extras in the storyline. Uh, I ended up just loving the way that this, um, I love the way all these turned out, but I really, really liked the, the extra editions and the extensions to part of the story with Halloween. It just works so well, um, obviously with a witch story. So, um, so yeah, that one is also available on my website. And then of course, Helga the Witch, the Halloween children's storybook, um, which is kind of a story poem. So this one is also available on my website um, featuring illustrations that I did. So watercolor um, illustrations. It's a very quick read, so, um, but it, I just think it's a, a fun little story. So yes, yeah, so this one is also available on my website. If this one sells out, this one is not available on Amazon. I wanted to get it on Amazon, but they don't offer um, the square versions of the of books yet so far, so I couldn't get one on Amazon. But um, if it sells out, you can get these directly from the other publishing site that I use. Um, and you can do that through the product link. So you can click on the book, even if it says sold out on my website and in the description somewhere, there'll be a link to purchase an unsigned copy directly from the publisher. So yes, those three books are available currently on my website. And if they sell out, I will try to get, um, I will try to get more. It takes a few weeks for me to get copies. And then, um, you know, it takes me a little bit to get them signed and up on my site again. Before I end this video though, I wanted to give a special thank you to everyone who ordered some of my Halloween um, craft and art projects on my website. You know, I, I tried to get them packaged and shipped out as fast as I could when the orders came in and, um, and I've noticed, you know, there's quite a few of them that are sold out now on my website. So um, that of course is exciting for me. And I'm just, it makes me happy that some, somebody is gonna have these fun pieces that I worked hard on um, in their homes, you know, decorating their homes for Halloween. And uh, yeah, so again, thank you, thank you so much. And thank you to all of you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, I hope to have some new videos posted very soon.